ladies and gentle boys girls and gentle men I ugh, got nothing here these, these intros are getting these <laughs> these intros are getting worse the older I get every day it's just I just feel I kind of like season pyromancer here God, do you really want to be the approach deck? I like Coligon's command too. I like Scalding Tarn. I like all the things. This pack is. It's real middle of the road. It's just Tarn. I think. Okay, like fetch lands are obviously worse because you don't have dual lands to fetch. You only have shock lands. It's still very good. Look at these two assholes. Sometimes there's cards in Magic where you're just like, this is... Oh, if this was five mana Teferi, I'd be all over it. I think it's because it's three mana Teferi. I'm kind of Primeval Titan. We actually haven't drafted Teamer yet, and I really like Teamer, to be honest with you. So I'm going to take the Primeval Titan. Also, a second pick Primeval Titan is pretty decent. Don't they know it's the end of the world when you don't love me anymore? I like a phantasmal image. Hmm. Progenitor Mimic is also something. I think Teamer could be the plan. Like, just because we have a Scalding Tarn doesn't mean we have to be Teamer, but... You guys like Mimic over Image? Image is just a cheaper Mimic. I feel like Progenitor Mimic will table, Phantasmal Image will not, and that's what I'm basing my pick on right now. Right now. Ooh, I'm a big Time Warp fan. Oh, I'm a big Tooth and Nail fan, too. I'm also a big Draga Tree Speaker fan. I think it's between Tooth and Nail and Tree Speaker. I think it's got to be Tree Speaker, right? Or more re realistically, we're Sultai. The Urchai, I actually... Dude, I totally meant to respond to you last night, and then I didn't. What happened last night? Did I get distracted? Oh, I had dinner with my parents, and then I went to go visit their dog. Because they got a new dog. So I went to their house to visit their doggy. And meet... Uh, meet my new... My new... My, dude, my, dude, my new dog brother, as my mom would say. And... Um, then I had to go to. Then I had to wait at home for someone to get my file cabinet because I sold a file cabinet. Um, they have a. They have two dogs, and a cat. And then. I waited for that, and then I had to go to Publix to get food, and then I came back and I streamed a little bit, and I think it just got too busy. It's not not too busy. Not like they have time. I just forgot. So I do apologize for that. I think it is actually Golos. Let's just go five color. Let's go five color Golos. Golos. Look at this. M11, M20, M12. I'm gonna take Nissa Vasswood Seer. That's a hold on. I also my I also had car issues today, and I'm getting real. It's getting real old.
Uh, cultivate's interesting. Ooh, cultivate with the with the Golos and the Primeval Titan. And this is just the search for the Planeswalker attached, right? I mean, it doesn't come, it doesn't come into play, but I don't really care about that. I'm gonna cultivate, and we're gonna add one of each basic in this deck. Oh, I like a Jade Light Ranger. I also like Thorn Lieutenant. Thorn Lieutenant's a solid two drop. Is it better than Jade Light Ranger? We already have two three drops. I don't think it's Primal Command. Manips might come back. I don't think it's Wolf Run either. You guys are ridiculous. What's wrong with you people? I think it's Jade Light Ranger. I think it's just better than Thorn Lieutenant. Maybe. Ah, all right, that's fine. Oh, Huntmaster of the Fells? All right, now we're talking. <laughs> oh, I like this Garrick. I also like Blink. I think Blink is fine. Frank, have you thought about getting a Tesla 3? Surprisingly, if I were to decide going if I didn't learn a part. Um, I literally... Yes, I've literally considered it. When I was in Seattle, I actually was on the waiting list. Um, because it was like the 35k Tesla. Like, the they had like 35k was like the... The Model 3's price at the time. But, I was moving... Look, Progenitor Mimic came back, you dummies. Got them all. Yes, believe it or not, I have heavily, heavily considered it getting a Tesla. And it is my, uh, I would say my goal car. My 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 grail car. However you would say it. Sounds like a shivering fire. Dummy. <laughs> You're right, we aren't. <laughs> you guys wanted me to take Progenitor Mimic and it just comes right up. No one's taking this card. It's six mana. Oh, I like a, I like an Ancient Grudge. Just kidding, I love you all. You're all my children. You're all my special children. You're all beautiful in your own ways. I like these I like these these ten picks so far. Ooh, Karn Liberated. I'm gonna liberate them from this pack is what I'm gonna do. I like a sulfur falls too. There's always one dude that's like take mimic vent. There's always one dude. <coughs> you should just steal a Tesla and call it an Einstein. By Einstein, uh do you mean um God, I can't think of his fucking name. Edison? I think you mean Edison. There you go. Nailed it. <laughs> Why are you people? Why are you like this? No one enjoys it when you're like this. I like Xenagos and I like Karn. I think it's actually Karn with all the, the amount of ramp we have. I don't even think it's close. Look, we're blue, so we don't get to we don't get to open uh Jace the Mind Sculptor this time. I think it's just Elvish Mystic. We want all these three drops. I bet Carnage Tire. Oh, Bloodbraid Elf, though. Oh, Bloodbraid Elf, though. Oh, Bloodbraid Elf, though. I'm a Bloodbraid Elf. This is a more mid-rangey deck, not a rampy deck. Regent's pretty fine. I don't... I'm not thrilled with it. Lotus, oh, bribery? That is a late bribery. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's just going to keep saying, come on. Come on. Eh, this pack is actually pretty mediocre. I don't think Marsh Flats is the fixing we want. I guess we'll just take Den Protector. I'm not excited about it, but. Oh, I like Vizier of Many Faces. It is one of my favorite clones. Oh, we have Phantasm Image, Progenitor Mimic, and Vizier. Good lord. Hope our opponent's deck is good.
Did someone just say something in chat? I can't tell. Lafof, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. I miss you, my dude. I miss I miss talking about uh, I miss talking about your your dating life in uh in in New York City. Can we make that happen again soon? It's just Crater Huff, right? It's just always Crater Huff, cause come on. Can we talk about your your bad Tinder dates or your love connections next time I next time I visit? And we, me and me and Elk Tears can help you send messages, cause that was good times. Oh, very strong love connection, eh? Congrats, my friend. Same, same. Do we just take Garrick Apex Predator here, and just accept the fact that we're five color, big fat idiots? Chad, greetings from Denver. <laughs> greetings from all over the world. Look at us. I know I'm a big fan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Lord. Jesus. I want to take this Sulphur Falls because, boy, do we need lands. Although, Riftwing Cloudscape, guys. No, it's a land. Don't be stupid. You have double blue, double blue, two red cards. Just be, just show some goddamn restraint. Take the land, you maniac. Just tune in. Was this a stip trap? No. No, this is just a regular old-fashioned draft. Like you do. Carnage Tyrant? Eh, this guy's fine. It might just be Carnage Tyrant, though. This guy's real good against the blue decks. I'll Carnage Tyrant. Greetings from Hollywood. I mean Australia, because I'm a real person. Totally not an actor. Well, how? I don't... It's not... It's weird that you would be a real person, because I feel like you'd probably just fall off the earth, right? Like, that actually doesn't make any sense. Your whole country doesn't even make any sense. Like, you, I don't understand how you're still... Existing. Baral's expertise is interesting. I don't even know if I've seen this card in the queue before. Actors aren't real people. <laughs> hey, buddy. You learn you learn all kinds of shit on this stream. Yeah, we do need more ramp. You ain't kidding. I'm just gonna take all the cards that are in our colors. We'll get it. We'll get a third pack. I don't know what this deck is doing, I'll be honest with you guys, but... Uh, Sakura Tri Builder is actually just fine. Hinterland Harbor is real nice, but that might come back. Once you get that opposition, you'll be fine. Ooh, awkward. I think I like Tri Builder a lot. You think it's Harbor over Tri Builder? Interesting. It might be. I love Sword as much as the next guy, but I'm, I don't think we're taking it over Tri Builder or Hartland Her 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 Herber. <sighs> I 
I took this guy. We do have a lot of hard things to cast, but I'd rather be able to cast them. Oh, Bird of Paradise. Yes. Oh, so many yeses. Bird of Paradise. Get in there. Like, I like we have Cultivate. We have Secret Tribal Nissa. We have Golos and Primeval Tide. We have a lot of ways to get lands. Lumbering Falls. Oh, God. Cryptic Command. Good Lord. Here's an Eternal Witness, which is just a better Den Protector. I almost kind of like Teferi, but I don't think we're white. Like, we can just avoid white. I just like I just like Eternal Witness too much here. This pack is terrible except for my my boy. Yeah, we're probably just taking this. <clears throat> I can see taking Champion of Champion of Shints. Fallen Shinobi is great though because we're already kind of splashing black. Cryptic is the best. You're not you're not wrong. You're not even close to wrong. It's probably my favorite card in Magic to be quite honest. Did you? Did you? Oh my god, because I passed the cryptic. Because that makes me sad. No. Factor Fiction is great. We're going to take Factor Fiction. We took Fallen Shinobi because, like, Bouncing Eternal Witness or Jade Light Ranger or, like, even Nyssa. All very good. Oh man, Metamorph? Jeez. So we can have Pro Progenitor Mimic, Bribery, Vizier, Phantasmal Image, and Metamorph. I think I kind of just want Essence Scatter here. Does that seem weird? Like we just have so many clones already. We're not playing this, right? Come on. Not happening. Triple black, that's not where we're at. Plow under, however, that could be where we're at. Torrential Gear Hulk, also not where we're at. The Hinterland Harbor did not come back, unfortunately. I don't think this is very good for us. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it because it's like just a big idiot. This guy's also a big idiot. What do we have? Three planeswalkers? It's not terrible for I guess we have Nissa too. I'm thinking if we want like Immortal Sun. I think I just like I just like Nullhide Ferox in case we play against like a control deck. Yeah, we have Garrick, Karn, Garrick. And then Nissa flips. Um, Night Dawn was fine. We're going to put one planes in the deck for Golos for sure. I kind of like Night of Autumn. Eh, I'll just take this. Obstinate Bailoth, you're fine. Look at Faithless Looting. This isn't even a modern legal card. Come on. Just stop it. Alright. I don't know if this deck is great, but it looks fun. Can we cut red? We just have no reason to, though. Like, we have... Like, this is 23 cards. I don't think any of our blue cards are... I like, I like Baral's expertise. But, like, a lot of decks don't really have that many creatures. I think this is actually good. I like this configuration. We have 16 creatures, which is nice with Crater Hoof. We have some sweet, like, payoffs for the splash. Like, if we also cut red, like, we lose three of our... Like, we have just three free lands. Like, 
people don't this is a, this is the thing that bugs me and like people always ask me can we just cut this but like there's really no cost to playing red like we just play these three lands in one mountain and with one mountain like let's look at all the sources of red we have one uh two three four five six seven eight plus the mountain we have nine sources of red like it's just it's it's like a, it's a free splash for like a bloodbraid elf and a and a huntmaster which are both fantastic cards uh i don't think triple green is going to be hard for this green is going to be our most represented color so we're definitely adding i think we're just adding this this is actually exactly what i was looking at like because this is also three four five six blue but like then you have birds seven cultivate kodama's reach the eight nine golos 10 tri builder 11 like and we only need one of each of these because we have one 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 two black cards two two red cards and it gives us a just fine amount this is actually exactly what we're looking at this is perfect oh we do want one planes yeah that's for sure that's for true uh, we can cut out one island, I think. And just add one planes for the Golos. What a time to be alive. Actually, I could see cutting Den Protector here. Yeah, this hand's great. Um, yeah, we can ship the Den Protector. Because we already have Eternal Witness, and I'm not super sold on Den Protector. But Den Protector has a nice evasion for, for the Fallen Shinobi. What are you hoping for? Anything that gets land, right? Cultivate, Kodama's Reach, Jade Light Ranger, anything that hits us a fourth land, a fourth mana source here. Would be nice. Ah, yes. So we're getting a blue. So we can have double blue. And probably a red. Or a black. Probably a red. Like this can be our black source, which is totally fine. So now next turn we can do it all. Well, we couldn't hit them with Shinobi next turn. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. We can't hit them with Shinobi. That seems fine, though. I mean, we can just... We have lots of things to do here. I mean, we also... I was considering we had two black cards in hand, two red cards in hand, so I'd rather have a guaranteed source of red in case they, like, kill it somehow. Meh. That's actually fine because we can get it back with Shinobi. So we're just hoping they don't... Uh... We're not blocking anyway. I mean, this gives us a 25% chance of hitting a Shinobi. Now it has a 33% chance. 
We're hoping they hit this because it's just as good as the graveyard. No blocks. Eh, okay. Fascinating. What do we take here? Bloodbraid Elf. You can actually just Vizier the, the hostage taker. I mean, they get to hit one of these two, and that's fine. If we hostage check the hippie, the problem is that they still ha they can just cast Bloodbraid Elf, which is such a ridiculous amount of value. I'm actually okay with that. Like, Golos, we can go get the planes, and then we have all colors. Or we can get the swamp. Swamp, probably better. Your Bloodbraid Elf isn't in play? Oh, it is? Wait. So we hostage taker this. No, but... If we didn't hostage taker their hostage taker, then we would have hostage taker the Hypnotic Spectre. So they would still have their hostage taker, right? We copied their hostage taker. Yeah. Like, no, you're getting confused, I think. Now we can hostage taker their hippie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, now, no, okay, yeah, I thought you meant last turn. I thought you meant instead of copying, instead of hostage taking their hostage taker, you hostage taker their hippie. I was like, but then they still have hostage taker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can actually play Hostage Taker and Jade Light Ranger here, which is nice. Um, yeah, we'll just top this guy twice. That's totally fine. They could counter this. They did not. <clears throat> We're getting aggressive. Blink of an eye. Activate mute vault. That's fine. They did not counter. This is bullshit. They did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Now we get our Vizier back at some point? That's just... That's just silly. Just got my new Twitch sub and resubbed. Tatterbread, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I did not see it pop, though. But you are subbed, so... Yeah, it would still it would still show up if it was prime. It would you'd still, I'd still get a notification. Twitch doesn't care if it's prime or not. Collective brutality, this guy. Okay. And they escalated it. Okay. Okay. All of these things are fine.
and scoopers. Copy you, steal you. I get to deal eight here. That's a lot. Found out yesterday that Amazon Prime includes a streaming service. The more, oh yeah, you guys didn't Amazon Prime. Amazon, are you talking about Amazon Prime Video? Because it's actually fantastic. And that'll do. All right. This deck is janky, but wonderful. I kind of like Baral's expertise, I'll be honest with you. Oh, let's take out the Den Protector and put in Baral's expertise. Yes. Excellent. We can also bring in a... Uh, does Nullhide Ferox have the discard clause? Now oh, this hand's rough. I'll ship it. This is good. I think we want the Phantasmal Image. Eh, we can cut Vizier, I guess. Oh, dang, we don't have a land that comes into play untapped on turn two, though. It makes the Sulphur Falls worse. How do you feel about Dismemberment Plan? Um, I was never a big Dismemberment Plan fan. Now we do have a land that comes into play untapped. I, I appreciated their, their role in, uh, in early 2000s emo and hardcore culture, but I never really got into them myself. And I always got Dismemberment Plan and Dillinger Escape Plan confused. Those were two bands where I was like, wait, which one is that? Wow, that's messed up. Oh wow, that's a fantastic draw. Oh, ba -ba -ba bird. Did you guys know that the bird is the word? No blocks. Yikes, that could be very good in the future. I guess we'll just hunt master here. Also, if we hit any land, we can attack and then flip. No blocks. Garrick Apex Predator. Well, I don't foresee that coming down anytime soon, but... That's rude. Oh, wow. The worst hits I've ever seen. Choose you. <laughs> Jesus. Well, next time we can bribery, which is pretty sweet. Oh, man, they're going to languish here. World is getting languished, guys. Baral's? Oh, jeez. No god, they're gonna land Baral's expertise. 
Oh, don't do it. Good, good gravy. Languish or damnation. Here we go. Don't do it. My fallen shinobis, my friend. It's really bad. Oh boy. It was a slow roll in that swamp for sure. Yep. Seems good. I didn't play anything. Fascinating. Jade Light. Land. Ba 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 bird. Seems good. I'm okay with that. Bounce Jade Light. Get him. Get him. Cultivate. One, two. Okay, so they're real close to casting this Garrick, so we kind of have to get rid of. Night Veil Spectre. Hopefully they got a Chupacabra in there that I can just steal. Oh boy. This is getting obnoxious. I guess we can actually play Image, copy Hostage Taker, Hostage Taker the Night Veil Spectre, and then just play the Night Veil Spectre? That seems good, right? Yeah, let's do that. They have one card in hand? That's great. Oh, what if we mimic? No, we want to be able to play it, right? So, hostage taker. Copy the taker. And steal you. Now you don't get Garrick. And then we're going to cast this guy. <clears throat> and then... The Boys was fantastic. It's probably one of my favorite shows in recent memory. Oh yeah, the boys is definitely pretty dark. You are not kidding. They didn't do anything. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is the most hostage shakers you'll ever see. Are they going to do a thing? Sure. Oh, God. That was stupid. Of course, your last card is that. Yep, that was pretty bad. I mean, it's not terrible, I guess. It's frustrating. We need a second blue for this bribery. Do they have Fallen Shinobi too? Do they just top deck a Fallen Shinobi? Lucky 
lucky, 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 lucky. Yep, let's see what you get. Primeval Titan. Primeval Titan. Prime Evil Titan. I feel like we're dead. So just play Fallen Shinobi as like a blocker. Block here. Pass. They're in top deck mode. Let's see what kind of miraculous card they hit off the top. Or they could just play Night Veil Spectre here, which, based on the time, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so this is only five attackers. We have four blockers. We should be fine. Primeval Titan rolls through. We block everything else. Uh, we do lose our bird, but I don't think that's relevant at this point. 2-2 um, two, two on... 2-3 two, on 2-2. Two, 2-1 two, two, on... Doesn't matter. And then we just take six. How do you have another card in hand? <laughs> Boy. Oh, doggies. Well, that's actually not terrible. Bounce, bounce. Bounce these. This, this, and this. We got a chump blocker here. We can factor fiction. I don't even know if that's any good. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five. Well, that's not terrible. Some of them have doom. Shinobi in hand. No. Yes, Doom and Shinobi in hand. Um, choose 100% to put this pile in my hand. Play the planes. Play the Tri-Builder. No, they don't have Shinobi in hand. They have Doom, Whisper, and uh, Spectre in hand. Okay. Oh, that was a crazy turn. Let's go get an island for sure. That is what's keeping us uh a little bit a little bit stifled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 mana total. So we can Bloodbird Elf and Bribery. Bribery, what can we get? I mean, we're hoping for like a Ravenous Chupacabra, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Just 
keep playing creatures. God, we're so close to so close to being able to crater hoof and Bloodbraid Elf. <sighs> there, I don't think there's any board wipe creatures that I know about. I think we have to bribe her here. Two, three, four, five. Just to take a look, if nothing else. Sure. Phantasmal Image, steal this. Play Doom Whisper. Nope, 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 nope. That seems good. Are we still dead? They're gonna have four creatures that all have two. We're gonna have three creatures. Yeah, that's rough. And this guy flies, so we're gonna have to hit like we'd have to hit an answer off of Bloodbraid Elf. I don't think we actually have anything that's I think we're still dead here. Cause if we play this guy, we still have block block block, and then we still take two, so that doesn't actually take care of it. That doesn't do it either. Alright, let's just go to the next game. Karn would have done it. I kind of like Essence Scatter. They have a ton of creatures in their deck. It's not great with Bloodbraid Elf. Eh, Harvester doesn't seem great. Like, they're just gonna block it with like Doom Whisper. I mean, they have a they have like Hypnotic Specter and the other guy. Um, I kind of like Shiv and Fire because of that. We can also bring in Bayloth. I'm gonna just plow under. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. On the play, this seems good. We just have to hit one land. So long, bribery. So... Next time we can Kodama's Reach into a... Golos. Oh, fascinating. Just got a wandering femoral here. So if they can't actually deal with Golos next turn, we get to activate it. Okay, 
Okay, that's not it. Okay. I'm gonna leave this guy on top. Go 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 go, Olos. Can't actually kill this guy because it's pro green now. Go 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 go, Olos. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Put your sword on that guy now. I mean, that sword is problematic for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. got a red in here I guess <laughs> see this is rough because like if we copy this guy it's still got pro blue I think it's still fine though, right? I mean, this game has been sweet so far. I think we, we can take a hit off Night Vale Spectre. I think that's fine. I mean, they could also hit Crater Hoof off of Night Vale Spectre, so. I mean, they're milling 11 cards here, so. And there's the Crater Hoof. Yep, that's pretty bad. Oh, we get Vizier of Many Faces in the graveyard. What can that do? They're just casting Fallen Shinobi, sure. So none of the cards in our hand do anything, so I think it's time to Golos again. Garrick, Bird... Play. We're just going to lose the sort of body and mind, and it's pretty sad. I mean, alternatively, we could have actually, like, attacked with this, see if we hit a removal spell, but, like, the odds seem pretty low. What's our biggest creature? Four? So we could draw four? Yeah, Eternal Witness is still in the deck. We just can't cast anything. Right, but how are we getting Ewit and then casting the Crater Hoof off of it? God, this is so dumb. I can't believe we're just... Oh, we have a bird. No, that's green. Never mind. Green, blue, green. Yep. Mm, 
It does this wouldn't have even done anything either. It's so sad because like we just don't have the mana to do anything. Like even if we, there's nothing to even copy. Yeah, that's so dumb. I feel like this game was great. This is why every time someone shits on swords in Q, I'm like, I just think you're being... I just think you're being elitist. Uh, I think there's two swords that are fantastic, three swords that are fantastic in main decks: uh, fire and ice, body and mind, and uh, feast and famine. I think I think those are good even despite their their protection of capabilities. I think if you get to connect, I think that you puts you very far ahead. I would love to draw scalding tarn here. Yeah, body and mind is always worth it. I would also probably consider fire and ice almost every time. Oh, just keeping that Nissa Vital Force, huh? Graveyard. Draw land, sure. Yeah, I think 12 creatures is more than enough for a sword. Oh, it's Nissa who shakes the. Wow, it's a different Nissa. Well, isn't that something? Really? No attacks there? Fascinating. Well, that is fascinating. Yeah, this Nissa's ridiculous. Sure, I play the land here. So, what do they got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana? Eleven mana. Seems good. Actually, thirteen mana because they can just untap. Yep, this seems bad. Double misses. Totally logical. Same exact art. <laughs> yep, this is a totally reasonable play. Let's get a move on. Time's wasting. All right, well. I actually kind of like this guy. I want to submit with this guy on the deck. Plow under does seem good.
check out the mimic. This hand is unexciting, but I got colors. My opponent played the coop, the, co the Cooper, and the three mana diamond zombie when he crewed. I said, "How can you drive that with his little arms?" <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, Sammy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh. Ooh so one, two, three, four, five, we have six mana next turn. That guy can't even attack or block. Can you believe it? Oh, I wish I had a black mana. That'd be great, right? You guys like you guys like black mana? One, two, three, four. Garuk, create a beastie boy. We're doing it. We're living the dream. Gary, where's my blue mana? Where's my mana in this deck? This deck is terrible. No, I actually I'm enjoying this deck quite a bit. Um, still six mana, no black, so this guy's out. No double blue, so this guy's out. No seven, so this guy's out. No seven and black, so it's one of these two jobbies. We could also draw three cards, which I'm okay with considering Kadama's Reach turns everything on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana is also Kadama's Reach, and yeah, I like this a lot. Let's get one black, one blue. Um, put the blue into play. We'll play the black as our land. And then we'll try to Shinobi here. Come on, hit him's. Hit him's, get him's. I'm going. I mean, Tarmogoyf blocks Arbor Elf. You know what? That's all I really need. Oh, I guess they can give it the pumps to kill Garrick, but I don't think we care about that right now. I think we're already doing fine if they want to waste their turn. Sure. Garrick lives. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana? Nine mana. Two, three, four, five. The problem with this is we can't do anything else if they have just like nothing. We can also Garrick kill the Oracle 
which leaves them with really nothing to do next turn. And then we get to eat this guy. That seems really good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Veronis can't attack or block, correct. Bribery is fun, but... So is hitting with Fallen Shinobi. Oh, I shouldn't have played the land. I'm such a dirtle. I'm literally like, going to get a free land off this. Maybe. Or it's two spells. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Fallen Shinobi is a real magic card. That's totally normal. I feel like Essence Scatter is good here. But, like, again, it's just a Bloodbraid Elf Essence Scatter deal. Oh Josh, I didn't even see your I didn't even see your comment, but I like that we're on the same page there, buddy. I'm gonna submit. I think it's good. Oh yes. Oh yes, we're doing it. Time's wasting. I feel like my activity feed is not correct, right? No, it might, it might be. Has there been like no subs in like two hours? That seems insane. Oh my god. It's not the same if you gift them. God, you guys are ridiculous. I want the I want the retention. I want I want people to just sub because they appreciate the content. Oh good. Another sword. We're gonna lose to another sword. Oh wonderful. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Josh, thank you so much, buddy. I still really appreciate it. Thank you. Really surprised they didn't just equip attack and then... Yeah. Oh, boy, this seems worse. Tomorrow's payday, so why not? Well, I could give you reasons why not, fiscally, but I understand that uh, that is in, not in my best interest. Mono Black went 3-0. This deck, however, we're looking like a we're looking like a one-two maybe. Yep, that's a fat idiot with hexproof. Can we just top deck an island? An island into Fallen Shadow might not be terrible. It's going to be a Sulphur Falls, though, or a Wandering Fumarole, and we're just going to feel terrible. This is pretty much worse. Oh, they didn't play the... Well, that's... We brought this on ourselves, really.
I also, uh, I also am so bad at this game. Here's a Nissa. I have four of them in my old. Oh, it's not Nissa. Well, I'll be. Oh, duplicate. Remember to slam those thoughts and prayers buttons. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. This is ridiculous. I just, I can't believe we're losing to swords twice. <sighs> oh, good. Last card. Seems good. Yeah, okay. We're done. All right. Let's see if we can go one, two, guys. The streak has ended. Because we got a little fun here. Having a good time. Oh, we're playing it's always unlucky. We'll see if that's the case. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep, ship that hot trash. I'll keep this hand. We'll ship the den protector because it's garbage. Plus, we can go grab um, a second blue source. And then we got the, the Burberry online. Turn three this guy, turn four this guy. Seems good. <gasps> Dance, what's going on, me friendo? What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, three, Sammy? Good lord, my dude. Good lord. Get it together. Let's crack this gentleman. Get that second blue for the bribble bribbles. Oh, a little birdie. Nope, gotta be red. Let's do a red one. This guy. <laughs> the old I've got a pile, huh? The old I've got a pile. If you guys are watching on Twitch and you don't feel like making a Twitch account, if you guys are watching, if you're watching on YouTube and you don't feel like making a Twitch account, or like you just uh, don't have the $5 a month to spend on a sub, you should definitely consider going to patreon.com slash and uh, you can support me there for $1 or $2 a month. There's $1 or $2 tiers. There's a $5 tier, there's a $3 tier. Lots of ways to support the channel without spending $5 a month. And $1 or $2 is basically nothing. But it's a great way to support the content you guys consume. So, uh, I'm just going to bribery them and see what we got. Oh, they have a blue land, so they're just going to just gonna counter it. Yeah, fuck me. <laughs> Why wouldn't your four-color deck have a mana leak in it? Makes total sense. That's not the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Good times. So if you wanna, if you wanna support the channel and make me feel less miserable about drafts like this, Patreon.com/slash Frank Lepore is a great way to do it. And I, <laughs> oh, get out of here, wolf. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Where's Fallen Shinobi when you need it? Don't they just kill our bird? No, we have... We have two blue, so all we need is any land, I guess.
Exile a card from your hand. I'll get rid of this. Actually, let's get, the, get rid of the E-Witness. I don't even care about that. The only problem is if they have, like, Liliana. Oh, so they're just playing straight-up four-color control. Like you do. Totally reasonable. We'll do that next time. On Dragon Ball Z. So we're going to go get a Consecrated Sphinx. Then they're just going to kill it with Nicol Bolas. Seems good. <laughs> what a joke. I'll get it. I'll make sure you can't cast Bribery next turn because you don't have five lands at play, idiot. Uh, there's the Consecrated Sphinx. <laughs> so we are going to get that. I should have looked at their deck, but I'm like, at this point, I'm just like... It's, I'm real mad about the whole thing. They're going to kill it during their upkeep, because... Lucky, 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 lucky. Yep, fantastic. Fan-fucking-tastic. All right. Let's bring in Nullhide Ferox. Let's bring in Carnage Tyrant as well. I mean, there was an Ojutai, but that doesn't really do anything. This hand is terrible, but I'm going to deal with it. Yeah, it has Expert Fall on tap, but, like, it doesn't do anything. Like, who cares? They'll just kill it when we tap it. Like, I don't... Like if they can kill if they can kill Consecrated Sphinx, they can kill Ojitai, right? Like we either don't attack or we attack and they kill it the same way that they were gonna kill it. Like it just doesn't I'd rather just risk take the risk of the um of the Consecrated Sphinx and actually this is unbelievable that they've drawn four forests. I'll mana leak your Golos. <laughs> Fucking <God. laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Sometimes you wake up in the morning and you're like, why do I bother? I don't know. Sure. All right. Well, I mean, I don't think it's very suspicious with their deck that they did nothing on turn two and three. They, they don't strike me as a deck that has a bunch of turn two and three plays. That got resolved. Well, I'll be. Consecrate. Oh, Dragonlord Solemgar, huh? Well, isn't that special? Ooh, Carney T. We can Phantasmal Image. I think we're just bribery. Hope they don't have anguish done making, I guess. They can't activate this without a green source. So I guess they got that going for us. During our upkeep, they will anguished unmaking. 
No, we get to draw two cards. Well, I'll be. Sure. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I kind of like Karn. Get rid of Quarantine Field here. Nope, that's the end of that. We are not playing that out. All right, 03, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. That deck was not as good as I expected. Neither were the plays. But uh, hopefully we're okay. <laughs> I forgot all about that. I'm just like, well, we'll just give him back his own consecrated sphinx. Either way, thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe. And check around at coolstuffinc.com and manatraders.com. You can find the links and the promo code's in the description below, and I have a new article going up on cool stuff every Wednesday, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.